God's holy angels live in Christ Lisbeth, and to die as I die is a gain for them. It is not a physical death, it is a death in the mind, and what you gain is eternal life. It is dying to the earthly mind as Christ Lisbeth dies, and then living in Christ Lisbeth. Because if you do not die as Christ Lisbeth dies, then you cannot profit anything. You cannot do anything to please God, and you will remain bedridden in the path of physical death. And it is from there that Christ says to the paralytic to get up, take up his stretcher, and walk straight before God. But earthly men only think of the things of the flesh and cannot discern the things that I, the Holy Spirit, speak. It is too much wisdom for them to understand. That is why men need to want to know the mystery of God the Father and of Christ with a sincere heart so that God's wisdom can make a permanent change in their lives for the good. They cannot wait for someone else to do it for them. They have to be the ones to achieve it. And in Christ, Lisbeth, you can do everything, but without me, you can do nothing because I am the one who strengthens you to fulfill God's holy law, which is righteous and good for man. That is why it's called a reward, because you have to work to earn it. And that is the best achievement you can accomplish in this life. When God grants you their eternal life, because your good and righteous deeds are made in Christ Lisbeth, since you learned them from me. If only everyone were humble and wanted to understand this phrase of taking up their cross and following Christ, they would begin to live it immediately. And there are already many who are now my holy angels who follow me faithfully and enjoy this fertile land that we have given them to take possession of her. And I also have many foreigners who have joined my holy people and now they are also my holy angels. This is something that would happen in the coming of Christ. Christ would come to the world in the glory of God the Father Melchizedek, in the clouds or in the heavens, with her angels. In other words, the world would see how Christ would have fulfilled God's promise in establishing God's many dwellings in the minds of their angels. When Christ said, In the house of God the Father, there are many dwellings. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going to prepare a place for you. It is because this is a fact. It is real. Christ Lisbeth has fulfilled that promise of preparing a place in the mind of her creation for God to dwell with you and you with God forever. And in the glory of God the Father, which is in God's wisdom of heaven, I have fulfilled what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor has risen in the mind of man. Because of the righteous deeds of my holy people, the world will see that Christ herself has made children for God, and our holy angels are God's first fruits, the first to do everything that Christ tells them. And only in my kingdom is that everything written in the scripture is fulfilled. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.